If you're new here and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please click the red subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to get notifications whenever I'll upload a new video. Now that you have dived into the awesomeness, let's just see what we've got in today's video. Hi friends, welcome back to Feed with Colors. For those of you who are new to my channel, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's just quickly jump into today's video, which is going to be my first impression and review on the Clarisonic makeup brush. This brush retails for $35 and you have to buy, uh, you, have, you need to have a Clarisonic machine to get this brush working so uh, if you don't have the machine already it's going to be another hundred dollars or more of an investment to get this machine so that you can use the brush okay i can hold it correct okay so that you can use this brush so anyway this is the outer packaging this is how the brush comes in brush head comes in and this is how it looks like once you have it on your clarisonic machine uh, I have the oldest version of Clarisonic with me, so yeah. The bristles are um, kind of okay. I feel like this is more like a stippling brush uh, than a buffing brush to me. But anyway, so if you guys want to see my first impressions and review on this product, then please do keep on watching. I have my Clarisonic brush head here and my Clarisonic machine. So I'll just put the brush on to the Clarisonic and here it goes okay so let me take my foundation and see how this thing works I'm taking Mac Pro Longwear NC42 so let's see how this thing works on my face let's start blending the makeup really nicely I'll do the other side of my face with my beauty blender just to see whether the application on this side is more beautiful or this side It's time for the review. I see, in, I'm looking in the viewfinder. So, the makeup application is pretty good. It doesn't look like it's caked up. I feel a, it's clinging, uh, the makeup is clinging onto my dry spots a little bit on the Clarisonic brush side and uh, yeah whereas on the beauty blender side it's more beautiful i feel okay yeah and um i feel that uh, my beauty blender did not eat up product too much as much as the clarisonic one so i feel that clarisonic makeup brush is okay 
uh, better than the other normal makeup brushes but I still I will still go with my beauty blender I love the beauty blender more the application is way more beautiful and uh, it doesn't uh, make the foundation cling on to my dry patches so as you have seen me applying my foundation with this brush uh, I think you were able to see that I had some dry patches onto the left side where I applied my makeup with Clarisonic whereas uh, onto the right side of onto the other side of my face where I applied my makeup with the beauty blender there were no dry patches or um, my makeup did not cling on to my dry patches uh, with the beauty blender and uh, for my final review I'm going to pass on this uh, makeup uh, brush from Clarisonic sorry make a brush head from Clarisonic and I think the beauty blender wins the war um, it's just $20 and I've been using this for years now and this product retails for $35 as I said earlier so this is more costlier and I didn't like the application uh, on my face with that I'm going to end this video saying that uh, I'm still going to stay with my beauty blender and yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching this video and if it was helpful to you, then please do hit the subscribe button and feel free to share this video with your friends or family. All my socials are here. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time in another video. Till then, take care and keep smiling. Bye!